I'm Jason Robinson reporting for T8Z, and in the hot zone this week, I've got the hottest guest ever. We're going to be talking with the newly crowned 2014 Miss America winner, Nina DeVillory. Now, we're right here at Prana Restaurant in Manhattan, and we're going to talk to her about her history-making win and a little bit about her year-long reign. So let's go on inside and speak to Miss America. And here we are, Miss America. How you doing? Good, that never gets old. <laughs> <laughs> you like my congratulations serenation to you? I certainly do. <laughs> well, well, listen, congratulations on winning Miss America. That is so fantastic and I'm so excited for you. Thank you so much. Now, do me a favor, take me back to the moment when you were standing hand in hand, you were standing hand in hand with Miss California. It was kind of a West Coast, East Coast battle going on. Oh, that's right. You're the first person to say yeah, that. Yeah, it's true. And New York, New York won, but describe the moment where you heard the announcement, the new Miss America is Miss New York. <laughs> well, thankfully, I heard that announcement because prior, I didn't hear a lot of my name called if you watched the show. Right, right. Um, but it was just very surreal. And, you know, I remember saying to Crystal, Miss California, mm -hmm. I said, regardless of what happens, we're both making history as two Asian women. Um, specifically, she, her family is from China, um, I believe. And my, my parents were from India. We're second generation. So it just was so meaningful to have that historic moment for the both of us. Um, mm -hmm. And all I could think of was my parents because they were probably going crazy, <laughs> bless their hearts. But right. it was just a very surreal experience. And, you know, and when you think about it, you know, you won the Miss America right there. And of course, you know, you know, Indian uh, descent. And immediately after you win, you're getting racist, uh, you know, Twitter rants going on about, oh, you know, she's not American enough. Like, how do you feel about those ignorant statements coming in 2013? It's really unfortunate and it's really sad. Mm -hmm. um, but a lot of that stems from ignorance. And the silver lining with everything that happened is that mm -hmm. for one negative tweet or comment, right. I received hundreds and thousands oh. of tweets and encouragement from not only Americans, but people across the world. And to have that kind of support is incredible. Okay, now let's get to the real deal of Miss America, because that's what I really want to know about. Because sure. I watch you a want lot the inside of. Scoop? I want that <laughs> on the hot zone. That's what we want. Right. I mean, because I watch a lot of um, reality shows, and you'll see a lot of that. Um, like that cattiness or that drama going on behind the scenes and, and backstage. And I've always looked at, you know, Miss America being, you know, so lovey-dovey and everyone's so nice and so sweet. But I said to myself, you know what? Could it be that they're really backstage on Miss America um, being a little catty? And is there any drama that goes on backstage? Give me the scoop, Nina. <laughs> All right. Well, of course, in any situation, regardless of Miss America or not, you have some bad apples. That's reality. <laughs> right, right, right. <laughs> um, but I was really, I have to be honest, I was a little skeptical going in because mm -hmm. you speak to former Miss, you know, contestants at Miss America and they say, I've walked away with, you know, future bridesmaids, my closest friends. And mm -hmm. I thought, OK. <laughs> and when I went in, it is so true. It really is. I became close with, um, I became very close with three contestants. Okay. And we have a text group that we continue to keep up and text about. And um, it's just, they're, they've really become so close because we're actually there for two weeks wow. in Atlantic City. And we're okay. together 24 7. So you form friendships very quickly. That's kind of like the first real reality show is Miss America, if you think about it. Yeah, it really was. <laughs> yeah, 93 years ago. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> So now, listen, you, you think of it this way. I mean, you're obviously, you're, you're beautiful, you're smart, but ladies and gentlemen, the real reason why Nina won Miss America, because she's the world's best Bollywood dancer. <laughs> It's true, true. Now, I don't know about the world. <laughs> well, you did a great job on the show, and I want to ask, how did you decide to pick that routine to do for your talent portion? Because that was amazing. You were doing your thing, Nina. Thank you. Thank you, and I'm so glad that showed, because uh, when I went in competing for Miss New York, mm -hmm. I can't tell you how many people told me, if you're really serious about winning Miss America, um, you should change your talent, because the Bollywood dance will never win. Really? Yes. And so it was something I, yeah, <laughs> and you know, so I thought about singing because I was a singer, but I'm a better dancer than singer. Okay, and so okay. ultimately what it came down to is that I knew that if I was going to win Miss America on my terms, it had to be in my way. And to share my culture and heritage on the Miss America stage for the very first time, just having that moment was such an incredible honor. Wow. Well, you know, Victor Cruz from the Giants has his own little salsa dance and 
Jason Robinson from the Hot Zone. I have my little Hot Zone dances like this. Boom, oh, yeah. boom. So now we want to see Miss America. Give us your vintage Bollywood dance move. My what, vintage yeah, Bollywood your dance, dance move? move. Yeah, I, I just want to see it because you did great on the show. Oh, okay. So Let's I guess it. we always, I, this is like my kind of like fun uh, move. Oh, uh, yeah, uh, okay, it's okay. Really fun, yeah. <laughs> I like that. I like that. What do you have coming up in your reigning year? What can your fans expect from you? Well, I, of, of course, you should all follow me on Twitter yeah. at Miss America and Instagram as well. Um, but also, I'm traveling 20,000 miles a month on wow. average. I'm okay. in no place for longer than 48 hours. Okay. So it's going to be a really busy year. Hopefully, I'll visit all 50 states. Mm -hmm. And uh, some international travel is probably in the works as well. So it's going to be a very exciting opportunity. Well, we are, are all looking forward to that. And after your reign is over, I heard that you might be going to maybe medical school. Is that yes. true? Yes, I'm in the process of applying. So. Okay. Hopefully now my application stands out a little more. Well, Anina is Miss America. She's going to be a doctor. <laughs> She's doing it all. Miss America, Nina DeVillery, thank you so much for joining me in the hot zone. You're absolutely beautiful and so talented, and I love your dance. That was amazing. Now, that was hot. <laughs> <laughs> thank you so much for having me. Good. Thank you. Oh, beautiful. Aww. Thanks to Miss America Nina Davalori for joining me in the Hot Zone this week. We are all so proud of all of her success and we wish her well. I'm Jason Robinson reporting for T8Z. I'm Nina Davalori and I am in the Hot Zone.